Birch Correspondences Mundane Aspects When this symbol appears, it means it's time to get rid of all those negative influences you've been carrying around with you. Figure out what things are bad in your life, which relationships are toxic, and find a way to leave them behind. Instead of being dragged down by the negative, focus on the positive things you have in your life, the blessings and abundance. Use the things as a focus rather than the harmful or damaging ones. Magical Aspects Consider the property of renewal and rebirth, as demonstrated by the birch. Use this as a tool for spiritual and emotional regrowth and developing your own ability to regenerate where there has been emptiness or devastation. Protection The birch tree is revered as a source of guidance and protection in Native American belief. Adaptability The birch tree can grow in any climate and adapt to even the toughest conditions. The tree can survive where other trees would fail. This is why the birch tree is associated with resilience and adaptability. The ability to survive a harsh environment has a metaphorical meaning across cultures, representing an individual's resiliency in the face of hardship. Birch tree symbolism is also associated with the ability to bounce back from adversity. If you are looking for a fresh start or hope to overcome adversity, you can tap into the symbolism of this strong and resilient tree. The Green Man Tree Oracle by John Matthews and Will Worthington. A good beginning leads to a good conclusion. Beginnings are always important, as are the ways we approach any new task. Good preparation and a willingness to lay the ground on which we will build are every bit as valuable as the eventual outcome. The green man's wisdom here is specific. Make a good start, and whatever you are undertaking will end well. This means paying attention to the moment of inspiration, which the Celts called Awen, and following this to a satisfactory conclusion. Traditionally, birch was used to drive out evil spirits and return to sanity those who had become mad. <laughs> so interesting. The symbolism of it. So interesting. I don't know about you and synchronicities, but in my life they happen quite often. And that I would come across a part of a forest full of birch trees right now at this present moment when I felt that I needed a new beginning and some clarity. And then it was actually a female deer that would lead me to this patch of birch trees, which is another symbolism. The stag is recognized as a symbol of spiritual authority. It communicates that we are capable and willing to follow our intuition, to go in any direction our soul leads us, even if it points towards new and uncharted territory. I assume the same symbolism applies to the female deer. 
a doe. A sacred animal with the spirit of gentleness and softness, a messenger, a shaman, maze and femininity personified. In Celtic tradition, there were two aspects of the deer, the feminine element called Elit in Gaelic, the female red deer, symbolizing femininity, gentleness and grace. It was believed that the deer called the men from the kingdom of the fairies to free them from the trappings of the earthly world and taking them to the world of magic. They are often turned into women in such legends in order to avoid being hunted. On the other hand, there was also Dham, the masculine element, which was also related to the sacred and to forests, independence, purification and pride. The stag is the king of the forest, the protector of all other creatures. For the native tribes of North America, the deer was a messenger, an animal of power, and a totem representing sensitivity, intuition and gentleness. Some groups would entrust the hunt to the deer, which was also associated with fertility. There is a Cherokee legend that tells how the deer procured its antlers after winning a race against a rabbit. The animals of the forest wanted to know which of the two was fastest, but the rabbit cheated before the race and the deer won its antlers. In Buddhism, the deer symbolizes harmony, happiness, peace and longevity. When a male and a female deer are represented together, often beside the Dharma wheel, it is a direct allusion of the first teachings of Buddha near Varanasi. In one of his former lives, Buddha was a golden deer that spoke to men. According to that tradition, deers are by nature timid and serene animals, and their presence in a place represents the purity of a kingdom bereft of fear. <laughs> There are also Tibetan legends in which deer help men to solve problems. It's so amazing, that synchronicity. It's beautiful. Symbol of femininity. The birch tree is a Slavic symbol for both femininity and joy and blessings for women. Additionally, some cultures burn birch branches or leaves to cleanse and purify spaces and objects of negative energies. The mythology of birch trees. When the huge glaciers of the last ice age receded, birch trees would have been one of the first to recolonize the rocky, ice-scored landscape. Hence, Ecologists refer to birch as a pioneer species, an elegant native of British woods of all northern European countries and of North America. The birch is tall, up to 60 or so meters in height, with a slender pale trunk. It grows in clearings, preferring sunlight, but is not fussy about soil and is very hardy, although not especially long-lived. The word birch comes from the Proto-Indo-European root word berek, meaning to shine bright white. The white bark is very unusual. Thin and loose, it can peel away from the tree like paper. Even the layers can be carefully peeled apart and it's thought that the name birch came either from the Sanskrit word borga, which literally meant a tree whose bark is used for writing upon, or from bear, meaning shining white. 
Bay is the Gaelic word for birch. In Celtic mythology, the druid tree symbol for the bards, the goddess tree, the lady of the woods, the birch tree. Betula Pendula is the bringer of promise, renewal, light and new beginnings. Birch or bay is the first tree of the organ the Celtic tree alphabet. It was celebrated during the festival of Samhain. Samhain was the start of the Celtic year, when purification was important and people used bundles of birch twigs to drive out the spirits of the old year. Birch also has strong fertility connections with the celebrations of Beltane. This was the second summer half of the Celtic year, nowadays celebrated as May Day. People made Beltane fires in Scotland with birch and oak, and a birch tree was often used as a sometimes living maple. As birch is one of the first trees to come into leaf, it would be an obvious choice as a symbol of spring. Love and fertility goddesses such as the northern European Frigga and Freya have strong associations with birch. Eostre, from whom we derive the world Easter, was the Anglo-Saxon goddess of spring. She was celebrated around and through the birch tree between the spring equinox and Beltane. According to the medieval herbalist Culpepper, Venus, the planet of the goddess, rules over birch. In Highland folklore, a barren cow herded with a birch stick would become fertile, or a pregnant cow bear a healthy calf. Later, this would evolve into the beating the bound ceremonies in local parishes. Gardeners still use the birch besom or broom to purify their gardens, and besoms were also the archetypal witches' broomsticks. They used them in their shamanic flights, sometimes after the use of extracts of the fly agaric mushrooms found in birch woods. Folklore and herbalism credit different parts of the birch with a variety of medicinal properties. The leaves are diuretic and antiseptic, and a remedy for cystitis and other urinary tract infections. The leaves and sap were also used to treat kidney stones, rheumatism and gout. The sap was recommended for skin complaints, and the bark is said to ease muscle pain, if applied externally. 